Um, so the first thing I would say is some belly breathing activities um, because really I, I coach people in doing this all the time um, for their pelvic floors because our breathing is directly connected to our pelvic floor, but our breathing is also directly connected to our nervous system. So when we feel those moments of stress or anxiety coming on, if you do some deep belly breathing, um, that sort of helps to trigger the brain and saying, you know what, everything's okay. It's okay to settle down. We don't have to be in this fight or flight um, experience that we're going through right now. And it's okay just to, you know, take it down a notch. Um, so doing that also helps with, you know, elimination with urination and bowel movements. So breathing is the number one thing for everybody. <laughs> it's good for your entire body. It's good for your digestion. It's good for your mental health. Um, so that's definitely my number one recommendation. So, question. so when you do it, do you like say, okay, I'm going to do a time where I'm going to do 10 deep breaths or do you just throughout the day are conscious like, am I breathing up here or do I need a couple deep belly breaths? Right. So that's a good question. So if, if I'm telling somebody to do it specifically to address a condition, like a pelvic floor condition, I'll tell them, you know, you know, remember to do it a few times a day, you know, whether you're sitting or standing or laying down, it doesn't matter what position you're doing. But then if you feel, um, you know, stress starting to creep up on you, you know, stress is the enemy of wellness, right? So when you feel that, you know, a moment of panic or anxiety or tension crawling in, you know, then you just stop what you're doing for like a minute and just work on your breathing and just let everything settle back down. 